Peace annotations. It was nice knowing you. Hey YouTubers, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and yes, I am here with more YouTube love for you because I'm back on your screen with another tip for the tube. Before we get down to replacing annotations with cards and end screens, let's talk a little bit about why YouTube made this change. Annotations aren't mobile friendly. They actually can be little mean little sums of... Annotations were created in 2008 before the real mobile streaming craze took off, so annotations weren't really created with mobile viewing in mind. Therefore, unfortunately, annotations can't be viewed on mobile devices. Today, 60% of all YouTube watch time is on mobile devices. Think about that for a second. This means that 60% of the time that your videos are being viewed, no one will ever even see the annotations that you created. People love cards and end screens. They just want to hug them and kiss them. And they love them. Cards and end screens have been adopted by the majority of YouTube creators and YouTube viewers. This is mainly due to the fact that cards and end screens were created with current technology in mind. Compatibility with desktop, mobile, and other viewing platforms made cards and end screens the clear winner over annotations by leaps and bounds. Since the introduction of cards and end screens, Annotation use has dropped by more than 70%. Cards and end screens generate seven times more clicks than annotations. Since less creators are using annotations and less viewers are clicking on them, it doesn't really make much sense for YouTube to keep annotations around. YouTube isn't willing to pay the money for maintenance and upkeep, so annotations will drop like a bad habit. Now that you understand why annotations are gone, let's talk about how to replace them. Here we are in YouTube, and it's time for me to show you how to replace your annotations. So what we want to do is go up to our icon and left click on that. Then you want to left click on Creator Studio. Now you want to go over to the left hand side of your screen and click on video manager. Once here you want to scroll down to the video that you want to replace the annotations on. And once you find that video, you want to click on edit. So let's start off with cards. If you click on cards, it's gonna take you to the video and it's not gonna let you delete your annotations at this point. What you want to do on the card screen is you want to watch your video or fast forward your video if you know where the annotation is at. If you don't know where the annotation at is at, unfortunately you gotta watch the whole thing. And once you get to the point where the annotation is on the screen, you want to click on add your card and then follow all the steps to adding your card. If you don't know how to add a card, I have a fantastic video that goes in depth on telling you exactly how to add a card to your videos. Now, at this point, all we're doing is kind of like overlaying a card over where the annotation is. We haven't deleted the annotation yet but we have our card in place where it needs to be if you follow these steps and then watch that other video about cards. Now to remove the annotations, what we need to do is go to end screen and annotations. So let's click on that. Now on this screen, YouTube automatically recognizes that there are annotations in this video and it pulls up this screen first. Basically telling you, hey, if you want to add an end screen on here, you're going to have to delete the annotations from this video. All right. So 
annotations can no longer be added or edited. All you can do is click on delete annotations at this point. That's it. Doing that, it will delete all the annotations from the video. Once again, I want to reiterate to YouTube, it would have been nice to have a listing of the timestamps here where those annotations were located at so that if somebody wanted to add a card to replace that end screen, then guess what? They could just go to that place and add the specific card. Even having the timestamp and what the annotation said, what it linked to, that would have been fantastic and it would have made the transition so much easier. Now, what's gonna happen is a lot of people aren't gonna try to replace their annotations. You're just gonna leave them like they are, but that's not really a good thing for them because as I stated at the beginning, most people are watching things on mobile. So you're better off going through the heartache and pain of finding all your annotations and replacing them with cards and replacing any annotations at the end of your video with end screens. So what happens at this point is you can click on learn more. If you do, it'll open up a tab and tell you some things about uh, annotations being discontinued on May 2nd. Or you can click on a delete annotations button. So let's click on that. When you click on that, it just basically gives you a confirmation message saying, hey, you're about to delete all your annotations from this video. Um, they cannot be restored after you delete them. And then it has learn more. If you click on learn more, it takes you to that same page we were just on a minute ago. And when you're ready, you click on delete. If you're not ready, click on cancel. I'm gonna click on delete. So now what it does is it just kind of sits here and rotates and rotates and rotates and rotates and rotates and rotates forever. Okay, I don't know why it's doing that. Hopefully it'll get fixed by the time you watch this video. If it's still doing this for you, then just click on the reload this page or refresh button up here on the top left corner. And when you do that, boom, now you can go ahead and add your end screens to your video. So at this point, you go through the steps that you do to add end screens. And I have another fantastic video on how to add end screens to your video. So be sure to click on the card for that in the upper right hand corner and watch that video if you want to know more in-depth information about how to add an end screen to your video. But basically, that's it. All right. All right, YouTubers. You know the routine. Let us know how you feel about annotations going bye-bye. Leave that stuff in the comment section below. If you like the content in this video, make sure that you click on the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Let other people know that the content in this video is muy bueno and that they should be watching it too. And last but not least, you gotta smash that subscribe button. And after you smash the button, click on the bell. Make sure that you click on the bell because that's what lets you get notifications every time we upload content to YouTube so you don't miss out on any other learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.